when you have um, ancient cultures all over the world um, who are describing non-human entities in the unseen, which is almost what isn't unseen to the humans in the way that I've just described, um, many taking a reptilian form, and that has passed through the ages. And then you meet people in places like America, because once you start talking about this, you become uh, someone that people will give information to because they can see a way of getting out to the public arena. Because you won't think they're crazy. Um, and they're telling you the same. You know, people who've been in mind control projects, people who've, who've been in government projects, who've interacted with these entities in, in underground bases, um, and they're describing what the ancients described. When you've got this, this man who's fortunately just died in his 90s, um, William Tompkins, writing a book in um, 2015, um, describing how he was seconded in 1942 into a top secret um, uh, naval intelligence operation in America based at the uh, naval base at San Diego, um, where uh, he, his, his role, or the role of that, organization was to interact with non-human entities and he um, produces documents he produces pictures of people he was with to support what he claims and he's saying world governments are, co are controlled by a reptilian non-human race um, I've, I've been saying that since the 90s who and are, he's who are these people royal family reptiles Trump. well well, let, let, let's look at how, 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 how it works. Um, first of all, these entities operate in the unseen, overwhelmingly in the unseen. Um, because we, like I said earlier, live in a frequency band, a band of frequency. Um, anything beyond that frequency we can't see, we're not aware of. And, you know, uh, people have no trouble accepting that the old analog system of radio and television stations um, are different frequencies sharing the same space without interfering with each other unless they're really close on the dial. You know, the analog system, BBC One and ITV and CNN, they're sharing the same space, but they're just on different frequencies. And the, um, the television picks up different frequencies as you change the channel. Well, in the same way, worlds uh, of, or realities, it's a better term, are sharing the same space without interfering with each other unless they're very close on the dial. And, and at, at that point where they're close on the dial and, 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 and there is some form of interaction, that's what we call ghosts and paranormal activity. Um, and so these, not just reptilian, but other non-human entities are operating just outside of the human sight. And um, they have to have vehicles within our frequency band, within our world, that represent their interests that um, are basically vehicles for them to manipulate our society. And so um, particular bloodlines were created that are hybrids, part reptilian, not, not always reptilian, but part reptilian, part human, um, which is the origin of the royal aristocratic bloodline um, whole order of the ages. You know, the ancient Chinese emperors used to claim the right to be emperor because of their descendants from the serpent gods. Um, and the reason that these um, royal bloodlines and aristocratic bloodlines have incessantly, obsessively interbred, it's because they're holding this hybrid genetic program. And for a long time, they ruled because they were the special bloodline. What, what, what is it? Just down the road from us now in London, we have a head of state, even today, who is head of state because of her bloodline. The queen. The queen. If she was a different bloodline, she might be cleaning the throne, not sitting on it. This is the nonsense of it. Why are you queen? Because someone had sex with someone and, 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 and that person was born first. Therefore, 
they're the monarch. S sorry, I, th I thought we lived in a civilized society with some form of intelligence. What's going on? But uh, across much of the world, as humanity started to um, awaken a bit more from its civility to, um, to these royal bloodlines, um, they couldn't sustain it any longer. And so um, the, the, the royal in-your-face control started to disperse. It's, it's still around in some areas, like we still have a monarchy in here and the Commonwealth countries, but in lots of countries it disappeared. But these bloodlines didn't. And their sense of being special and being, quote, royal never ended either. And so they moved into the dark suit professions of banking, of politics, of, of well, all the dark suit professions, government administration, etc. And they've gone on running the show ever since um, while not being overtly royal. And of course, what happened with the so-called British, Great British Empire, or these other European empires, is these bloodlines went all over the world and they imposed themselves um, in, a, in the North America, in South America, in Australia, uh, uh, all over the world. And they've gone on controlling ever since. But when you look at the situation from, um, from just a, a you know, general population perspective, everything seems to be unconnected. People seem to be unconnected. But when you, when you go deep into the shadows, they're not unconnected. Continue watching this fascinating conversation for free by clicking on the link below to visit our website, learn from the best minds in the world, and connect with a community of passionate people building the best versions of themselves. Just click on the link below, and I'll see you on the inside.